Okay. So we're done pillaging the gun shop. We're done pillaging the gun shop on on what? On Parasite Eve. On, uh, on the channel Parasite Gay. Hey everyone, my name oh. is Tony. My pronouns <laughs> are they them. My name is Fiona. My pronouns are she or they. Oh shit! I missed with. Oh fuck! Keep... Damn it! <laughs> Tony, Sorry. Come on. Uh, if it's Eve we're dealing with, oh low. Erg, Torres will kill me for that. Okay, so... I should also take a look at that handgun I got now that I think about it. Yeah, let's see if it's better or worse. Yeah, so we found a better machine gun, a better club, and a better handgun. So... Um, it has a better range, but that's it. Fairly significantly better range. And um, less bullets, and... I don't know, it's all sorts of weird. Mm. Yeah, you can try it once. If you don't like it, you can... Yeah, do a thing. I Shove mean, it into your machine gun. I mean, I have a lot of ammo right now, so I'm, I'm gonna stick with the machine gun for a bit and just see how that goes. I would really like to have access to the item box, but... He's okay. staring at the graffiti, because that's how you do. I guess so. We're stocked, come on! Get in the car, see? <laughs> We're gonna go kill some mitochondria. We're gonna take this random scientist, like, air quote, scientist with us just because he wants to go. How the fuck do I get into this car? You probably need to talk to Maeda. Okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Or do I need to rub the front bumper? I don't know. Hello? I believe I believe there's a pharmacy. Oh, so you might have oh. to go the other direction to now restock. Yeah. I mean, I guess I appreciate all the free items. Well, it's not like there's money. Right. Which right, right. I actually appreciate because if you're a cop and there's this like world ending event, yeah. having to buy a thing is just absurd. It is absurd. The door's broken. We oh, you mean Daniel doesn't get to shoot it? <laughs> well, he still could shoot it if he wanted to. Yeah, that's true. He seems to be a little trigger happy. Oh, God. There's so much to pixel hunt. Oh, fucking. Well, but there's not there's an a item phone. box. Okay, hold on. I need to maybe drop a couple more things. What, what, what was the worst body armor I had? SP, I believe. <laughs> or no, it's, it's KV. Well, they're both pretty shit compared to- I'm just, God, I'm just gonna drop both of them. I don't know, maybe I'm making a huge mistake right now. I think we'll manage. Wait, I didn't throw it away, did I? Yeah, you discarded it. Well, yeah, but which one am I wearing? The CR vest. Oh, okay. <laughs> you're fine, you're fine. Just, I don't, that, that slight moment of panic. I, I don't know! Yeah, I don't know! <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna keep that rifle for now, I think. You should equip it. I don't- it's not equipped right now. No, no, I have the machine gun equipped. Oh, okay. Which is good. We're gonna try that one out. Right, right, right. Well, because it's just- it just seems in most ways better. Okay. Like, like, it fires a significantly more amount of bullets for not that much more, um, whatevers. So, with this vest right here, what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm just gonna pump all this shit into it, and then later when I get a much better vest, like maybe two vests from now, I'm gonna see if I can use a tool to transfer all my uh, stat upgrades over awesome. to yeah, it. Yeah, you have a couple tools. Which, here, let's also put this on the vest. Why not? We have the ultra vest. Uh, so then let's let's go take a look. Hello? Hello, boxes, hello. We need medicine. Is any medicine there? <laughs> Opiates, you know, whatever we can get our hands <laughs> on. <laughs> All right. Come on, medicine twos. Which are, I guess are just on the walls. I mean, there's oh, oh wow, shit. medicine three. Yeah, there's a lot of medicine in the room. Oh, a back room. Oh, shit. Yeah, here's the good stuff. <laughs> Revive. Oh, CR evade. Evade plus two. A tool. Rad, rad. I know. I wish. I wish reality worked like that. I want to be able to just go to the store, buy a single tool, and it works for anything I want to do. Oh, absolutely. Go to the store, pixel hunt for a while, <laughs> find the one tool in the room, continue pixel hunting. I see. That's the thing, though. I'm. I'm starting to be paranoid. Like, was I? Did I actually need to pixel hunt earlier, or was I only looking at chests? Because I don't think I was. But. I, I think you searched the room pretty thoroughly. I think that's what- I think a couple of the things weren't in chests. Like, I could be wrong, but... Yeah. yeah. And you are looking for a bottle of pills in a pharmacy. <laughs> like, like, you'd think I'd find it a little faster. 
I think it's funny you only find one. Like, I've been in a couple pharmacies, and usually there's a stack of whatever the thing is. Uh, well, and also, usually there are multiple pills in a bottle. <laughs> this is true. Well, no, you're chugging the whole bottle. Oh, oh, I see. I, yeah, so medicine yeah, I one, you're actually eating all 40 that are in there. Oh, cool, another revive. Yeah, that's handy. And very handy. <laughs> okay. I know it sounded a little funny, but you went with it. Uh, what's up with him? All of a sudden, he's a happy, happy camper. I don't get these scientist types. It's because he's like chugging a bunch of Ritalin right now. <laughs> like you do. <laughs> yes, yes. I wish I could take all these back to Japan. What these like off the off the shelf like pharmaceuticals? What? Yeah, I Maybe? guess he's a drug mule. I don't. I also don't know. Yeah. So did I get anything? I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the critical evasion also on this vest. Maybe that's maybe that's a mistake. We'll find out. Can I increase the range of a single weapon? Yeah. No, no, but of my club. Ah, damn it. Oh, that would be hacks. I I would have really liked that. So I believe we kind of went over this before. I think the way tools work is that you can either put the the sort of like uh, not effects, but the sort of like qualities of any weapon, such as like rapid fire burst. Or like, or scatter burst. Like, oh, so you can have a machine pistol scatter or multi fire on your assault rifle. I believe so. Okay. Or, but so, so when you use it, when you when you use the tool, you transfer either its stats that you've upgraded, or I think the stats of the gun to your current gun, or you transfer over its its abilities. So, I think you kind of really need to be careful to pick and choose where you put your upgrades specifically so that you don't put good upgrades on a gun that has a good ability unless you're going to use it for the rest of the game. That makes sense. Looks like we're ready to roll. Yeah, but he said this before. Oh. Hey, you're supposed to be in the front with me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Road rules don't apply. We can take the shortest route through Manhattan. This guy is mad with power. Well, I mean, I don't know. I feel like you gotta take the bright spots where you can when everyone's turning into ooze and burning alive. This is true. Like, life is short, right? Shoot out the door. Oh, shit. Uh, you can go to the NYPD if yeah. you so wanted. Yeah, you know, I am actually. So this might be a little bit of an inventory management episode. We're going to get our first uh, glance at tool modding. At shoving guns and other guns. Some gunception. Well, those guns aren't going to shove themselves. Enter the gunception? Onto the gunception. Hey, I finally installed Pac-Man. Hey, wh where'd that kid go? <laughs> where'd... Oh. Hey, Aya. I guess it's nice to see you. Or whatever. He doesn't seem like he noticed. Yeah, I mean... I don't know. Pac-Man's a surprisingly fun game. Like, even today, I think Pac-Man's fairly solid like depends on which version of pac-man i think yeah you think so there were some like more modern 80s slash 90s era 3d pac-man i don't think those have aged well wait what was that about trading cards i guess there are trading cards is this like a mini game i, I oh guess hey so. we can store items yeah hold on though i just i guess i just fucking missed that i fucking wow <laughs> A medicine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, okay. Um, is there equipment I want to store right now? Do you want to store? Well, let me let, let me see if I can do any gun mods real quick. Okay. Didn't we get a permit? I don't. Hmm, did I put it away? Uh yeah, there's a box on the counter. Maybe item. Ah, uh, there it is. Mod permit. So wait, do I need a tool and a mod permit? I don't know. Maybe the tool is something you just use from your inventory. No, I think I have to do it here. Okay, so okay, so I have my my fucking permit. This is riveting. <laughs> Which gun? Uh, is this the to or the from? Well. <laughs> Slot is full. Oh, okay. So it has a left and a right slot. So go back to the machine pistol. Both slots are taken. Go up one. This has one slot, and then the very top one has an empty slot. Okay. Oh, what did the club have? Oh, never mind. Add slot. Okay. Okay. I guess I don't understand. 
So if I add slot, okay, oh, god damn it. Okay, so I'm gonna go save real quick. I know I basically just saved a minute ago, but I'm gonna go save again. And we'll and we'll figure something Come out. I'm back down. Okay, whatever. Mitochondria! A puzzle of the flesh! Nucleus! Well, <laughs> my nuclei! No! <laughs> polar bears! I needed those! The, the ice caps needed those polar bears! Who am I even calling right now? You're just leaving your own voicemail, I think. Like, hey, Aya, it's me. Aya. It's good to see you. I. Hello! Dear Diary. I'm Today I was chased by crazy polar bears, and not in a good way. Let me tell you, uh, they had a li they had lightning bolt. I guess it was more like chain lightning. Topor, topor, uh, yeah. Topor, topor. What is that? Is that is that a spell? Is that uh, a I it seemed to half remember it from like LARP days, which I mm -hmm. probably shouldn't bring up because it's horrible. Oh, I see. Yeah, we don't want anyone thinking on the video game channel that you're on that you're some kind of nerd. Right? No, I'm totally not a nerd at no. all. No, I would describe Fiona and I both as really buff. Yeah. yeah like, like real strong. Dodgeball. Yeah. Okay, so I got my mod so permit. mod permit, okay. Well, are tools different then? Which gun? So you want to mod the assault rifle, right? I guess so. What did it do? I don't know. She took it. I mean, I don't necessarily... Like, I'm probably gonna load after this. But just remember, cop zone guns for protection. Don't let the gun zone you. Uh, so, okay. Now if we go over to... I don't understand what happened. Hmm... Fiona's gonna go look up a thing. Well, I... It might be out of scope for just, like, reading, too. <laughs> it might be, like, the 800-page walkthrough on how to do guns. Yeah, it's... Okay, so that used up my permit. So I wonder if I can just use a tool. No, I can't seem to just use a tool. Moves equipped parameter or effect. So how do you use it then? Mm. I don't know, but you know it is gonna happen. I'm gonna go load a save. <laughs> how the fuck do you load a save? Was it was it back at the at the telephone? No, it only asks you if you want to save. You might have to do it uh, from the game in game menu. Wait, bonus po Oh god, I forgot. Oh, about we totally bonus forgot points. about those. Go to the wrench down there. Uh, oh, that's tune up weapons and armor. Wait, what's oh that one? Oh my god. Okay, no, I'm just gonna... Reset. Reset the game. Beep boop. Nothing to see here. It's chill. We're playing on a PS3. We're legit now. Hey! We get to hear the sound. <laughs> now, some of you may be wondering, why aren't they doing this off screen? Do you want to know the real answer? Because we're lazy. Because we're lazy. Because, Isn't that great? Because we're lazy. <laughs> wow. So you gotta you gotta be with us on this journey. Okay. Well, I, uh, I'm I'm looking at like matrices that I think require <laughs> advanced calculus to figure out this this uh, weapon thing, Tony. It's it's only theorized that it's possible to understand this system, but currently it's outside the scope of science. Yeah, and math. It, it's requiring seventeen string seventeen dimension string theory. Uh, so. Oh god, and we're only in the third dimension. Right? I'm a little concerned. Or something, or I don't fucking know. Okay, come on. Do 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 You know, I sometimes wonder like So Fiona so this is Fiona okay, so this is Fiona's PS3, right? Right. And Right. Right. Uh Oh. Let's increase my IM capacity just a little bit. Active time, okay. Oh, the guns. Are you uh, gonna spend money on your gun? I, I mean, you can, but I don't know. No, I would spend it on yourself more than the gun. Like, yeah. guns come and go. Yeah, but I. But your meat bag is forever. My. <laughs> that classic line. <laughs> uh, but so this is this is your your PS3, Fiona, and like I don't know, like as soon as you left it here, like I had weird thoughts of like. 
maybe I should like get a solid state drive and maybe ask if I can like have permission to shove it into this thing or something. And oh like, my gosh. And that's ridiculous <laughs> because you know, that's only like what, like a few seconds, like for each load screen. And like, I'm not so deprived that I need to spend like a hundred bucks or something to improve my original fat PS3. Right. Yeah. Okay. So I don't need this. Oh no. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god. Fucking Oh, this seriously, this system it just needs just needs a few small things. Not a lot of things, just a few small things to move all your weapons to the end of your inventory list. Um I you know, isn't I there was... a sort? <laughs> there is a sort. Oh, it seems I have to have the club. Which oh, is Oh, you're interesting. storing them. I see. Well, as long as I don't know how the fuck to use tools, I guess I don't. So wait, why did you store all your guns? Oh, because I don't need them, right? Well, like, which one did you keep? I thought you only kept, like, the machine pistol thing. The machine pistol thing? Yeah, yeah, I kept that one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got it then. Okay. Well, I'm just going to put these away, and then I guess after we're done recording here, just actually look up how to do this stuff. <laughs> Figure it out. Wow, I had a lot of bullshit. Yeah, well, you have all these keys that you can apparently never get rid of, ever. <laughs> and, you know, they haven't heard of a key ring, so... <laughs> right. It's like, this entire assault rifle takes up as much space as this key. Maybe it's just like... Maybe it's just like a weird thing where they're trying to, like... I don't know, vaguely conceptualize what it would mean to have all this shit on you. Like, so the item slots aren't necessarily equal, but in the end, it maybe makes sense, I guess. I guess we'll go with that. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Justify, justify, justify. We're going we're gonna to say the developers had a has an, had an ultimate goal on why they did it this way. I probably... Hey, did you see Miss Pac-Man? I heard it's like the sequel to Pac-Man. <laughs> more levels, more ghosts. It sounds way better. <laughs> this obsession with that guy for uh, Pac-Man is pretty impressive. Where the fuck are we going? Um, I don't know. Soho is where we pillaged. Is it? Isn't that where the... That's where we started. That's where the gun shop and the pharmacy were. Right? Oh, no shit. Okay. So, Carnegie Hall. Museum. Hmm. Uh, I don't know. Museum, maybe? I feel like that might make sense. Well, that was where a scientist was. Well, I don't think our plot is currently to go talk to the scientist, but... Oh, well, okay, I guess we did. So, where to? Is there any place with a research facility? Research facility? I'd like to conduct an experiment and test something. It might be relevant. How about the facility in the museum where Clamp is at? They, they really have, have ex oh. extensive equipment there. <laughs> no way, man, anywhere but there. He should have been evacuated by now. It should be okay. Er, uh, yes, that sounds good. Daniel, is that okay? I'm expecting a big tip for this. What? What are we, a taxi service now? What is this, Yakuza 5? <laughs> it might be, Tony. It might be. Oh, I'm playing through that game right now, and I just got to the second campaign, Saijima's campaign, and the game went from being like, oh, okay, this is all right, to like, things are heating up. And it's, it's getting pretty fucking fun. Like, so this is the American Museum of Natural History. It's just as I imagined. I can find a research facility in this building? Yeah, hopefully we won't run into the jerk who runs it. Since he's been evacuated, it should be empty. Who wants to bet that he's still here? Mm, I mean, he's going to still be here. So I, I think he's going to cryptically tell us something before bursting into whatever. Awesome. Hmm, for a lab and a museum, it does have fairly extensive equipment. So what do you want to test? Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. It's not much of a lab. No, it's not. I was able to extract a gel-like substance from Aya's clothing. Gel? Is it from Eve? Yes, it appears to be a remnant of Eve's cell. What, just a, a gelatinous cube of Eve? <laughs> <laughs> well, she did turn a hundred people in the stands into something. I guess so. God, what a nerd. He's gonna run some tests. Ow! Hey, what are you doing? I just want to conduct this experiment to see whether or not... Is he gonna inject himself with Eve? 
God, I hope so. Ratchet, ratchet. <laughs> That's the noisiest microscope I've ever heard. <laughs> mm, yes, yes. This is exactly as I... It's just as I thought. Go ahead and take a look. You'll see the mitochondria. What is it? Oh, God. <laughs> it's it's DNA. This is an incredible microscope. <laughs> I was about to say. We're just kind of zooming through here. It's like going on a magic school bus on us. <laughs> uh, hey, the blob. The blob stuff. Oh my gosh, the, okay, this is an amazing microscope. It's it's very good. Are we gonna go, are we gonna see the quarks? We must go deeper. Is that the evil mitochondria? <gasps> it is! They're attacking, they're attacking the, the nucleus. nucleus. <laughs> Do oh, this is terrible. <laughs> um, I love it. <laughs> it's got such a strange plot. It does. Your cells are completely surrounded by them. As you can see, the mitochondria, or Eve, has taken over the nucleus. In a similar manner, the beasts that attack you are probably experiencing the same thing. Does the mitochondria really have the power to control the nucleus? No, the normal mitochondria never has such power. But Eve's mitochondria have gone through tremendous evolutionary changes. This is what I think happened to Eve's mitochondria. Normally, mitochondria require oxygen when they generate energy called ATP. Oh, I remember that. From biology, right? Uh, at this time, the mitochondria requests oxygen from the nucleus. Without the energy supply from the mitochondria, the nucleus cannot function. So in essence, the two organelles constantly rely on each other. But in this case, <laughs> it seems that Eve developed the power to reverse the symbiotic relationship. Evolution, or even mutation, seems likely in this case. <laughs> I like that they're finally differentiating evolution and mutation. <laughs> Reverse the cycle! <laughs> Look at this. Even with a limited number of cells, her cells have this much power. Can you imagine how much power Eve has within her whole body? <laughs> Maeda. Yes? Could you test my cells? Yes, of course, but... I want to know. I want to know why I have the power to fight her. I want to know where I stand with her. <laughs> Where she stands like it's a relationship thing. <laughs> Aya. Please, Maeda, I need to know why. Uh, sure. Yeah, of course. Yeah, whatever, you nerd. <laughs> Could you step over here, please? Could you jab your hand under the microscope? Micro the, the falafel? <laughs> <laughs> I'll need your arm. Wait, the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now steady. Steady. Yes, yes. Ow! <laughs> Just let me set this up here. Are we gonna get the same damn, damn thing? Show me the same cutscene. I want to see the same cutscene. <laughs> also, why would you have to recalibrate the mic? Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> you shouldn't think that hard about it, Tony. I think you better see for yourself. What is it? Is something wrong? Am I mutating? It is. Is it? Come on, come on, be this. Oh. It's it's part of the same one. That's disappointing, though. I wanted it to be exactly the same. Oh, God. Oh, she's fighting it off. Yeah. <laughs> Look at my little, like, like dragon fruit, like, nuclei. <laughs> it's a star fruit. <laughs> Do you realize what is happening? Your mitochondria are supplying more energy to the nuclei of your cells. It's almost as if they are protecting the nuclei from Eve's mitochondria. Why does Aya's mitochondria have this kind of power? I don't know, I just... Are you familiar with Richard Dawkins' theory <laughs> of the selfish gene? In simple terms, it states that genes act in a manner to preserve and ensure survival of the species. So now we're talking about genes. Hey man, I don't read those scientific journals. What are you trying to say? Depending on how you look at it, you can say that Eve is trying to destroy all mitochondria except her own. In response to that, Aya's mitochondria has developed the power to rebel. <laughs> Why only Aya's? Shouldn't it be the same for us as well? We should also have that power based on... That seems to follow the natural order of things, but I'm sorry, I don't... I just don't know why. Oh shit! <laughs> Professor? Uh, what are you breaking into my lab? This is breaking and entering. Uh, why haven't you evacuated the city yet? 
because plot. I'm asking why you people are in my lab. We we're just we've received the orders to evacuate the city. Professor, you really should. I tell you, cops are the ones corrupting this fine city. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, there's an argument to be made, but in this situation... I I'm sorry, it was my fault, you see. I asked them to bring me here. Who the hell are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Kunihiko Maeda, and I'm the scientist from Japan. You were using my electronic telescope? A telescope? You were looking telescope? at the stars, the moon? <laughs> Oops, translation error. What? What is this? Where did you get the specimen? Okay, blah, blah. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna skip through a little bit of this. I mean, a lot of this is like remedial biology class. And I graduated high school. Like, it's been a while, but still. I mean, this is pretty basic. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> Your cells contain a tremendous amount of energy. Do you feel any bodily changes? You mean like the ability to start things on fire with my brain? I mean, that'd be pretty rad. I hope I get that power later. I would take the time power. I think that would be pretty cool. Oh, shit. Hey, what the hell is this? Why is my boy's name here? High score in Pac-Man? <laughs> Lorraine, Lorraine's on here too. Clamp, you tell me. What? What's this list for? Tell me, you hear? He's a little upset. I think I, I think he's got good reason to be. Well, yeah. I don't have to tell you anything. What? Daniel. Don't murder him, please. He's a loose cannon, but one hell of a cop. <laughs> Wait, are we just going to leave? Uh, I'm pretty sure with martial law being declared, we kind of can hold him to answering some questions. I mean, this is just such a wild situation that like, I would be pretty down for just being like, hey, what the fuck's going on? Barbarian, ooh, oh. mean. Rude. Are they gonna say anything? Come on. Uh, thank you, bye. I love the fact that the monitor is flickering to really bring home that like 90s feel. Yeah, you know, that's actually a pretty nice touch. God, and you know, you know what else is a nice touch? Uh, why don't you tell me? Uh, seeing all of you on the next episode of Press A to Gay. Uh, thanks, everyone. All right, bye.